Well, my name is Mr. Marika, and I teach uh, U.S. History and AP U.S. History for uh, Beverly Hills Unified School District. It's my sixth year here at Beverly. Good morning, everyone! Every single day he gives us a really spectacular good morning scream that all the other teachers are jealous about. So what are we going to do for today? Um, in a little bit, I'm going to have you guys work on journal number 128, which we'll discuss, as well as on the previous journals that you guys had with Mr. Harmon. What drives me to do this job are actually a number of factors. Um, number one is passion. You have to be passionate about what you want to do. And I've enjoyed history since I was a young, young child. Um, if you don't have the passion for it, then getting up is the hardest thing to do in the world. Um, I usually wake up around uh, 5, 15 in the morning, uh, take a shower, get dressed, get my breakfast. I'm usually out the door by around 5.55 in the morning. Um, I live about 30 miles away, so then I drive for about an hour, give or take. I get to school around uh, 6.55, 7 o'clock, and I teach periods 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, I teach, like I said, AP US and regular US. How I feel about my students is a question I ask myself actually daily and the truth is there's not a set answer. Students like they're human beings. They have good days, they have bad days. I in general, my rule is I give you respect, I expect respect. But I see an overall sense that as long as the students have the impression, which is true, that I enjoy what I do, I get the common respect and common courtesy of them doing the work and doing giving me the attention. You know, he throws fastballs at us and just uh, gives us like little tidbits of facts about certain people that, you know, make history just that much more awesome. History is, in my opinion, more important than most other subjects because it not only connects the past to the present, but gives you a window to the future. Those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. History is cyclical, and if we don't learn from our mistakes, we are going to repeat the same things over and over again. My personal philosophy is to do what you love to do, to not be blinded by easy success or fortune. When I was in college, I was very much considering being an economics major. Very good job, good salary, and not to blow my own horn, but I was pretty good at it. Did not enjoy it. And I asked myself a simple question early on. Can I see myself doing that for the next 40 years of my life? The answer was no. My philosophy is do what you enjoy and the rest will take care of itself. I enjoy many parts of American culture. In regards to music, one of my favorites is actually, my personal favorite tends to be punk and metal. However, outside of that, I'm a very big fan of all kinds. I respect country music, old country, not so much modern country. In terms of movies, I'm a very big fan of, uh, of mafioso movies. Godfather, Goodfellas, Casino, um, and then of course, Star Wars. Oh. For years I've battled with Marika, but now as a senior it will be my final battle. Oh. <laughs> Ready when you are. <laughs> Trump can't handle the heat, Marika! <laughs> I am convinced in my heart that each and every one of you is going to do well. Now, how well will be up to you? My precious few have more.